Well, as a huge fan of lightning, I would be remiss if I didn't do a weather wise segment on the Catatumba lightning. So let's take a look. Imagine having an hours long thunderstorm every other night where lightning flashes almost continuously. Well, that's exactly what happens over the southern half of Maracaba Lake in Venezuela. The Catatumba River, which is where the lightning gets its name from, flows into the lake that empties into the Gulf of Venezuela. And you'll note the unique geography of the region forms a bowl around the lake. This means that the daytime heat will be trapped at the surface with extra moisture from the lake. And as the surrounding land cools, wind blows over the mountains and converges at the surface of the lake. Now, as these air masses mix, it creates the perfect environment for intense overnight thunderstorms that can extend to thousands of feet in the atmosphere. Now, inside these storms, we have a huge amount of lightning, upwards of 300 strikes per hour. And these storms can last up to 10 hours at a time. And that means it's the one spot on this planet with the most lightning strikes at about 250 per kilometer per year. Now, sometimes the lightning may appear colored, but that's due to where the storms are being observed from. Usually these storms are seen from quite a distance, and the particulates in the atmosphere make it look orange or yellow, just like when we see the sunset. And these reoccurring storms form about 140 to 160 nights out of the year, and there are even organizations that provide tours and places to stay to see this amazing phenomena. Now, while the repeated occurrence of these storms over the area is quite rare, the storms themselves are just like any highly electrified thunderstorm that we see here in the United States. Now, while this is a pretty neat thing for weather enthusiasts like myself, the locals to the area say that's just a, a normal thing that happens.